Hello friends, welcome to another session on polynomials and uh, we were discussing graphs of different types of polynomial and today we are going to take up graphs of a cubic polynomial and see in our um, graphing tool that is GeoGebra that we use how does a cubic polynomial behave if we change the values of the coefficients now here is the cubic polynomial which is given right so it's ax cubed ax cubed bx square plus cx plus d this is the uh, the polynomial in degree 3 right hence it is called a cubic polynomial you know this right and uh, a b c d belongs to the set of real numbers that's how we represent it and a obviously cannot be zero why because if a is zero then uh, the uh, the polynomial loses its identity of being a cubic polynomial now let us go take an example and then see how to plot a graph so let us say px is equal to x cube plus 3x square plus x plus 1 is the given polynomial okay now if i have to plot this polynomial that means if different values of x what is the corresponding response in y right how do i do that so we take random values of x and corresponding value of y are found so x let us take this first one x is equal to 0 so if you put x equals to 0 you will get if you put 0 everywhere wherever you see x you will get y as 1 right so hence my first point to be plot is 0 comma 1 right we'll see how to plot this later now so when you take x equals to 1 you will get y is equal to 1 cube plus 3 1 square 3 times 1 square now don't get confused by this dot over here this is not a decimal this is to represent multiplication so multiplication is also represented by a decimal as in a dot right so don't don't treat it as to be a decimal now so the value will be you can see it is 5 so hence uh, the next point is 1 comma 5 uh, or rather it will be 1 plus 3 4 plus 1 6 it will not be 5 it will be 6 actually so this one is 6 okay so this value is 6 right 1 plus 3 4 plus 1 5 plus 1 6 now if x is equal to minus 1 then what will happen so if you see x equals to minus 1 will give you minus 1 cube plus 3 times minus 1 square plus minus 1 plus 1 and this value will be minus 1 plus 1 goes you know, this these two will cancel each other out now minus 1 cube is minus 1 and plus 3 here so that is 2 so this is the second point so hence third point rather so it is minus 1 comma 2 now if you take, take x equals to minus 3 then it is minus 2 right so now let us plot these points on the graph so let us say this this is x and y i have shown here x and y now let us plot the points so 0 comma 1 is the first point so 0 comma 1 would be this point so i'm encircling it 0 comma 1 then 1 comma 6 1 comma 6 will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is 1 comma 6 correct so this is 1 comma 6 and minus 1 comma 2 would be somewhere here right and minus 3 comma minus 2 will be minus 3 comma minus 2 is somewhere here let me zoom it a bit yeah so clearly these points do not look like they are you know straight line so if you join them freehand so this is how you'll have to join them something like this so this is what a cubic curve look like okay now if you see uh in this case the curve is cutting the x-axis exactly at one point okay one point and it is if you see there are two turns of the curve two turns so curve is turning two times so one is this type first time and then this is the second time so if you see there is a local maxima here local maximum why local maximum because it is not the maximum value throughout the curve but in this region this is the maximum right in this surrounding area this is the maximum and if you also see this this point is local minimum or minima we say okay so the curve ha is having two turns so you, you can see cubic equation will have 
two turns at max it need not be having two turns all the time but at max it can have two turns it will never have three turns that means what do i mean this will not cubic curve will never be like this okay so there are three turns in it isn't it this is a biquadratic curve actually so cubic curve will be either this or this like that or it will simply be like that or like that these are the different types of cubic curve when we'll go to geogebra tool you will see what are the different varieties of cubic curve but you can rest assured that it will never be of this shape never why because this is a th three turns curve right and uh, so on and so forth so it will also be not like this never only three turns at max is allowed or possible rather right so hence and uh, it is cutting x axis at one point but it can it can cut at uh, three points all also for example another another type of cubic curve uh, uh, not three points rather two points only so a cubic curve can cut x axis at max at two points so like that if it is oh sorry at max at three points right so one two and three this is one variety another variety could be this something like that now let us examine the same uh, cubic curve in the GeoGebra tool. So what I have shown here is a curve and uh, you know you can see here you know, y is equal to 1x cube plus 1x square plus 1x plus 4.37 it says on the left hand side. Now what we are going to do is we have to see uh, you know we are going to analyze this curve by changing the values of let us say a, b, c and d. So in the first case let me just drag this d value back to 1. So you can see how does the curve look like. If you can see exactly at one point it is cutting the x-axis. Now let me change the value of a. So as you know the value of a is changing. Can you see now a is growing up and now it is coming down, down, down. And you can see the entire you know the two limbs of the curve uh, flip over the moment it becomes a becomes negative. Right. So it just gets flipped over. So this is how if a changes it behaves like this. So let me put it back A as 1. Let me take A to B1. Now let me see what happens when B is changed. Now B is increasing. So only one limb of the curve, you know, grows up and goes down. And then secondly, so at one time only one, one limb, one side of the curve only changes. Right? Most, uh, max, the, most of the change is happening only on the one side of the limb. This is how B behaves or the curve behaves when the b value keeps on changing now let me stop it and then we'll change the value of c and see what happens uh, to the curve okay so this is now c is changing now i'm changing the c value and now if you see it is uh, appearing as if the curve is being stretched up and compressed the two sides of the curves right it's like stretched and compressed it becomes almost like a straight line or uh, at one point right so the the two peaks and the valley which is there the one peak and one valley is there it is you know made more steep now that is what happens when the c value changes but uh, you can see that at max at any given given moment or um, uh, the curve doesn't intersect x axis more than thrice it, and uh, the least number of cut is one also so hence number of intersection with x axis is either 1 or 3 it cannot have two uh, cuts and only two cuts that is yeah so either 1 or 3 so only odd number of times it is intersecting now uh, i am changing the value to 1 okay so 1 now let us see what happens in b changes so like quadratic equation this time also the curve just simply gets translated up and down nothing else so if you change the value of d the curve simply gets translated up and down that's how um, the curve behaves so hence you can now understand what happens if different values of a and b uh, all the coefficients are changed and how the curve behaves isn't it so what did we learn in this session we learned that a cubic curve or polynomial can have at max three cuts to the x-axis right and the minimum number of cut is definitely one so hence either it will be one cut or three cuts those points where the cubic curve intersects the x-axis are called the zeros of the polynomial there are two 
turns at max the curve can have so turns means the the change in direction of the growth of the curve so it goes up becomes maximum then turns down goes down to minimum and then again turns up and goes towards maximum so this is how that is what i was trying to tell you so if you see yeah so as i change the value of a can you see yeah so this is what i was trying to talk about so as x increases y increases hits a maximum value then with increase in x y goes down and then again at some point after some point as x increases y increases and the vice versa the other way could also be possible this is what i was saying so as x is increasing y comes down becomes minimum then there is a phase when x increases y also increases and then after that as x increases y again starts decreasing so that's how a cubic curve will behave i hope you know you understood uh, most of the properties of a cubic curve how to plot them and how to see or what is the behavior of the curve when different values of the coefficients are there you can also try downloading this app geogebra and write your own equation and try to understand different varieties of cubic curves thank you